So the ultimate question, it's the last, second to last slide there is, when you're choosing a soulmate, will this be someone who will help me grow closer to Allah? Is this someone who will help enhance my spirituality? Is this someone who will bring me to my deen every day of my life? And who will keep me from wrong? And if you can answer all of those things, yes, this is someone who will keep me close to Allah and bring me closer to my deen, then for goodness sakes, marry that man or marry that woman and uh, do the right thing Islamically. Jazakum Allah khair. And let's uh, read Surah Al-Asr Wal Asr together. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Wal Asr. Inna al-insana la fi khusr. Illa ladina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawassaw bil haqq wa tawassaw bil sabr. Allah, please let us not be those people who are in a state of loss. Let us be those ones who have faith and do righteous deeds and teach each other of truth and patience, as Surah Al-Wal Asr says. Very, very important uh, surah to remember. So now I think my time is still a little bit, and so if there's any questions or comments or discussion that you would like to have, don't be shy. Even though shyness is a great attribute in Islam, this is not the place for it at all. So you're going out, you're going out to find your spouses tomorrow, right? Inshallah. I see some people, they're ready, they're ready to go out of the door and find them. <laughs>